This training video is brought to you by K-Alliance. K-Alliance provides high-quality instructor-led training videos for desktop, IT and soft skills. Visit us online at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free 7-day trial. Be sure to like us on Facebook, follow us on Twitter and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you for watching and we hope you learned something new. Real videos, real learning, real success. Let's take a look at an Excel spreadsheet where I have information on multiple tabs and I need information from one tab to exist on another or from one worksheet to exist on another. So my first quarter sheet tab here, all of the sales for my three sales reps for January, February and March. Then I have my sales rep, here are my sales, here are Juan's sales and here are Sam's sales. Now watch what happens. I'm going to change my's January sales. First of all, remember first quarter, it says a dollar right here. I'm going to change my January sales to be a thousand dollars. And watch what happens over here on the first quarter sheet. They're linked. So the information from my sales are actually found over here on the first quarter sheet. Same with Sam. If I go change Sam's January sales to 5,000, there you go. And would you believe me that wands are also linked? So underneath, let's take a look at what you're, you're seeing. I'm just going to double click so I can see it. It says my exclamation point, dollar sign B, dollar sign two. Let's go look at Sam. Actually, I want to resize the column so it's a little easier to see. Let's double click on Sam. Equal Sam, exclamation point, dollar sign B, dollar sign two. And you're going to see the same thing on one equal one, exclamation point, dollar sign B, dollar sign two. So here's what you have going on here. The equal sign says, go get. It's like a function or a formula. Go get some information for me. And what I want you to get for me is the information off of Juan's sheet tab. That's down here, folks, this sheet tab right down here, Juan. The exclamation point indicates that it's the name of a sheet tab. And then it says, and bring me the information back from cell B2. Give me the information from cell B2. And so in cell B2, let me hit escape. In cell B2, whoops, that was one. In cell B2 for one, it was $6. So let's change it to 6,000. And now one also has thousands of dollars worth of sales. Now I'm gonna go back and change those to single digits because it's just so much easier working with single digits. And we're gonna pretend these are hundreds of thousands or even millions of dollars in sales, right? Okay, so how'd I do that? That's the question. Well, here's how I did it. I simply went to the sheet that I wanted to work with and I said, okay, my's April sales start with an equal sign. And I went over to my's sheet tab and I said, I need my's April sales. There it is in the formula bar, equal my exclamation point B5. And then I simply hit the tab key. Now the next one, equal my May's figures, tab, and now I have my May figures. And I'm doing these individually just to show you, just so you have the technique on how to get to it. And then I go to my's tab, and I want my's June figures. And I hit tab, or probably could have hit enter there because I want to go do Sam next. Well, so I would do this for each one of my sales reps in each one of their months so that my calculations at the end are accurate, that they're fast and easy and accurate. Now there's a couple of ways to speed up this process. What I know is that the information on my's sheet is exactly the same on Sam's and on Juan's, so I could do this. I could copy my, paste it in here, paste it in here, and then I could just say, you know, this isn't my, this is Sam. So let's see if it'll work with, oops, I'm sorry. I hit, I hit the wrong keystroke, my apologies. I, I meant to hit tab on my keyboard and I accidentally hit an update key, which was a problem. So let me hit delete and do that one more time. Okay, so control, let's see, let's copy this one more time and paste it in. Okay, now on these cells, I no want, longer want these to say my, so I'm going to go to home and replace, and I'm going to replace what? I'm going to replace my, replace with Sam. Now, I'm going, I want to double check that this is doing what I think, so I'm going to say find next, replace, find next, replace, and find next, replace. Now, I've replaced, let's double check. That says Sam, 
Let me get, hit, get the right key this time. That one says Sam, and that one says Sam. Now, would you agree that you would do the same thing down here for Juan? Now, there are other ways to do this. I just want you to see the fastest options, because then you have opportunities as you're working inside of your Excel spreadsheets to use different techniques. This may not be the fastest technique all of the time. I'll just hit replace all on this one. It says that's three replacements. You know why it was three re replacements? It's because I had three cells selected. And I'll say OK and then close. So now I have quickly created links. Those are the links to my. These are the links to Sam. And these are the links to Juan. So now the data is linked to their sheet tab. So one way to speed up the process or potentially speed up the process is to do a copy and copy and paste and then replace. You might be a clicker. You might be a person who just likes to click. You want to see it. You want to validate it. You want to make sure. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to do the third quarter and be able to see my sheet tab when I'm working and Juan's sheet tab when I'm working and Sam's. Actually, I'm going to move Sam and Juan around. So now they're in the same order. So now I have Oops, excuse me, I have my, Sam, and Juan. They're in their proper order. But what I need to teach you is how you can see multiple sheets in the same workbook. This is something you're going to look at. So you're going to go up into View. So now I have the ribbon available. And it's in the Window group on the window. And what you want is a new window. Now, before I click this, I want you to notice the title here, 3.3 Linking Data Between Worksheets dash Excel. And I'm going to say, I want a new window. And now I have a colon and the number 2. And look at the other file that I have open. I have a colon and the number 1. So what I have here is the exact same workbook. I just have two copies of the exact same workbook open on my screen right now. So then I simply say Arrange All. I want, to, I want these to be vertical, so I say OK. And now I have the exact duplicate. And literally right now, it's the exact duplicate. Because on the left screen, I have the third quarter tab. And on the right screen, I also have the third quarter tab. Well, I'm just going to switch one of these tabs. I'm going to switch the right screen to my. So now these are my's sales figures. So I'm going to simply say, back over here on the left, I clicked on July equals. And then over here on the right, I'm going to click. You have to click once to activate the sheet and a second time to actually grab the information. And then I'll hit my tab equal. Come over here and click on August, tab, equal, and click on September. And then I'll hit Enter. And now I'm down to Sam. So now when I'm on Sam, I'll switch over here on the right to Sam's data. So now I'm looking at Sam's data. And I could go through and do the same process. So you could actually select the cells the way I just did it with the equal sign. You could do the copy and paste. And if the data were set up differently, you could actually drag the information because you'd be able to adjust it. But the information on this sheet is set up horizontally. And on this sheet, it's set up vertically. So the whole idea of the autofill isn't going to behave well in this setup. But had I been planning ahead, oh my gosh, I could have just autofilled all the way across to get the links. Well, off camera, I'm going to go back in and finish filling in all the links. But I know you've understood now how to create your own links between worksheets. And so now you can go in and also create all the links that you want to. When I'm finished and I no longer need both of my worksheets open, all I have to do is close one copy. Now, it doesn't say, hey, do you want to save? Because this is the exact same thing. Let me just maximize. This is the exact same workbook that's open on that side of the screen, and I just maximized it. So now I have one workbook visible on the screen. This is the one, then, that I'd want to go back in and save before I close. So open up those spreadsheets. View more than one worksheet within the Excel spreadsheet if you'd like to, and create links between your spreadsheets so that you only have to fill in the information in one location, and it automatically matches in the other location. It's time to answer another pop quiz question. When linking data between worksheets, what sign or symbol will regularly be present? A, the plus sign. B, the ampersand, the and symbol. C, a forward slash. D, the equal sign.
The only answer here is D. You will definitely find the equal sign when you're linking data between worksheets because that's what tells Excel that you're going to start a link. We hope you enjoyed this preview video. Please click on the like button below if you did and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Be sure to visit us at www.kalliance.com to sign up for your free seven day trial today. You could learn a lot in a week.